Hello, my dear students. How are you today? Now I am in front of you again with another video where I will be talking about how to calculate the volume and the surface area of a pyramid. This time we will be talking about pyramid. So now I'm going to talk about the base. The pyramid will have the base of either a triangle, a square, not a rectangle, square, or a polygon. Over here there are six sides. It could be five equal sides. It could be seven or eight equal sides. The one example I have here has eight equal, equal sides here. So, while not the rectangle, because every side of the base supposed to be the exactly the same. The land here and there and there supposed to be the same in order to talk about the right pyramid. So if it's not the same, we are not talking about the right pyramid. So, But you don't have to worry about the rest. We will be talking about the right pyramid with square sides being equal and the polygon here. So, Let's go back here. Before we start with the example, I just like to take you to the website here. See this? This is a, a triangle prism. So it has a triangle base and all the corners of the bases come together at one point. So I don't have the triangle prism here in my class, but I do have square and polygon. So I can show you those. So this is a square base pyramid. So in the base you see the square and on top from all the corners it comes together at one point. So therefore this is a pyramid. It's a square based Pyramid. And this is the one example we will be doing soon. And also, let me show you this. This is also a pyramid, right pyramid. It has, it's a polygon base we have here, eight sides there. But this is also a pyramid that you can calculate the volume and surface area with the formulas we will be using. Now, let's just go ahead and jump into the example here. Here is an example. And remember I told you this is this in 2D it's very difficult to see but this is a square. This one. It is a square. When they put it down like that in 2D that's the way it will it will look like. But you know that this is a 2D shape and the height of the pyramid is 15 inches and the slant height. So first of all, height of the pyramid means from here to there. Let's remove it. How high the pyramid is. So that's the height of the pyramid. But the slight hand height it's different you see there is an ankle here so it's supposed to be bigger than the triangles I'm sorry the height of the pyramid because it has the angle here so it's a different measure here different height here it is called slight height so you're gonna need that to calculate the surface area now let's just start so this is a pyramid, so I know it's a pyramid, so I'm going to write down the volume formula for the pyramid. So what is the volume formula for the pyramid? It's right over here. Let's make this 400. Right pyramid. This could be triangle, square, and the volume formula is B. H divided by 3. Let's just copy and paste that volume B Oop, I'm gonna 
write this on top a little bit actually let's make the division first b h divided by 3 so that's the volume formula and that's what I'm gonna write down here let's do the division first 3 goes there b no idea as usual what the b is the formula will tell me v is the base area and I know the base area in the question is a square so base area is the square so I need to calculate the square area which is the base area for this pyramid so I'm gonna open a new page here and I'm gonna say base area the square area and I forgot the formula for the square area so I'll go back here and look at the square it's there let's make it bigger square that's the perimeter this is the area formula L square let's copy that base area formula L square remember I could have polygon as a base or a triangle as a base so that formula goes here but in this case with the, spa the, the question we are working on it's going to be the formula from the square so base area equals L always have no idea what those letter means so L means let's look at the picture the side the length of the side so that is L so let's go back here let's go back here and side let's see 16 I'm gonna write down 16 here make sure you write down the square there as well 16 square and base area equals 16 square with my calculator I don't have the square button but I can do 16 times 16 equals 256 256 unit is inches and this is the area right inches square all right so now let's go back and now I know what the B is 256 I'm gonna write that down 256 times H is the height height of the pyramid but if you are not sure as I mentioned before if you don't know anything about the formulas what they represent it for always look at the formula handout presumes fair pyramid so height is right here the height of the pyramid so let's go back the height of the pyramid it's right here with 90 degree I can easily see it it's going to be 15 so I'm gonna write down 15 here next I'm simply just gonna do the math my calculator come over here 256 times 15 divided by 3 and I'm gonna have 1280 1280 1280 inches cube for the volume the unit must include the cube so that was the volume now I wanna calculate the surface area and let's use a different color for that surface area equals let's go get the formula surface area here B B plus capital P S divided by 2 let's go and copy that a lot of things I don't understand here but let's just copy the formula 
surface area equals B plus PS divided by 2. B, oh, B plus division PS divided by 2. So, let's keep going. Surface area equals, I want to write down the ones I know. B is the base area that I calculated here, which is 256. Two hundred fifty six plus division line I'll divide by two P no idea what it stands for P means let's go here base perimeter and S stands for slant height so base perimeter and slant height so from the picture I know the base perimeter I'm going to add this and that and this and that. That's the, square base, that's the base perimeter. But you need to use the formulas. And the slight height is right there. So now let's go back to the question. Perimeter. I don't know what the perimeter is. So let me show you the two pages. And let's go there. So... Perimeter of the base. Base is square, right? Perimeter of the square. I need to write down the formula of that. I'll go back to formula handout. And I clear this first. Make this smaller. Square here. Make this bigger. perimeter it's 4L so let's just go ahead copy that 4L 4L perimeter equals 4L 4 times L if you remember it means one of the sides and we know it's 16 perimeter equals 4 times 16 4 times 16. That's 64. So the perimeter is 64 inches. You're not going to have cube here because this is not volume. You're not going to have square here. This is not area. It's a perimeter. You're going to leave it as inches. 64 inches is the perimeter. Now I know that number. It will go here. So let's make this one page now. It will go right here, 64 times slight height. Let's go ahead and figure that out. That's this one, which is 17. All right. And remember, slight height will always be longer than bigger than the regular height always it will be bigger than that all right let's go write down 17 in the formula so all i have to do is use the calculation calculator and find out what number i will get from this 256 plus 64 times 17 divided by 2. 64 times 17 divided by 2. I will be getting 800. So let's go ahead and write that down. Eight hundred inches. This is the surface area. It's the area we are talking about. Square. Done. Now it's your turn to practice.